as you can see, we need to go and get a service. So why don't you join me as we ride over to Wrighton in Glemsford. Of all the days to have a service on the bike, I think we may have just stepped into autumn. So we are off to BMW Wrighton in Glemsford in Suffolk for our annual service. 7,000 miles, two years. So I've had this wonderful beast for two years now. Well, just over. And we're just going for our third service. So yes, it's been two years and a month or so since I brought this wonderful beast and I still love it. Absolutely love it. Haven't ridden it as much as uh, I probably should have done, which is one problem with having more than one bike. However, that is not a problem to get upset about. So I think I've done, or should I say, I think I've only done about 3,000 miles on her since last service. But they've been wonderful miles. I generally use this if I'm going to go somewhere further than the end of the county. You know, it's, uh, it's a good long distance bike, steaming up for the first time in a while. Uh, it's a good long distance bike. Quite comfortable. Marvellous tank range. A little on the heavy side I suppose. I, 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 love, I love the size of this. It's uh, it's got lots of presence on the road, but it is a big bike and just the 1250 GS, unless you're going to do lots of long distance journeys, is probably probably good enough really. This this is big and, you know, if, if you're fairly short in the leg, it could be a, could be a bit of a game changer when you're manoeuvring. But, you know, when you're I mean, I, d I never ride far enough where I'm never going to be that far away from a fuel station to fill up, so just a standard GS would be fine, but I, I just love this bulkiness of it. It's, uh, it's a standard GS that's eaten too many biscuits really, isn't it? No, I love it. I do love it. It's uh, it's lovely. Quite good on fuel, probably 50-ish to the gallon or thereabouts. Plenty of poke. Handles really well, considering what a big lump it is. It really does handle well for a big bike. I, when I before I ever had a modern GS, I never really bothered with. Uh, bikes like this because I just thought they'd be awful to ride but this is just so nice around the country lanes and even on good A roads, twisty A roads, it's surprising what it can do. Not had any issues with it at all, it's been absolutely excellent. Uh, tyres haven't worn down yet, I have got a new set of tyres to fit to it but I thought I'd get this uh, riding season out of the way and then when it goes away in the winter I shall change the tyres. Fresh for next year. But it's still got a good 3 or 4 mil, 5 mil left on the tyres but they are squaring off a little bit. And you do, with, it, with this the Adventure, you do get very good uh, weather protection compared with a normal bike. It's surprising actually how good the protection is on this. Even the blast from the cold air is good. 
we've got the updated sat nav although I seem to get the odd lack of satellite connection occasionally on this it's been all right today but I don't know whether that's their system or what's going on there so I've put quite a few bits and pieces on this uh, one of the things I did put on this was the uh, I think I went for it on an earlier video was the little steel frame you have to put around the TFT screen people are stealing them so uh, there's a little kit you can buy and it just goes round the screen holds it in place because I think you can literally just pull these off so uh, yeah we put one of those on we put a screen age all uh, protector glass on just to stop it getting scratched um, mud sling rear mud guard tour tech little toolbox on the side of one of the pannier frames which I've got all the tools I did buy a genuine BMW toolkit for this it doesn't come with a lot but it's quite handy it's got most of the important bits you need so I think even to take the wheels out although I think you might struggle to undo the wheel nuts uh, so we've got a puncher kit tire inflator little battery one that plugs into the optimate plug uh, what else have we done what else have we done that's it I did have some give a uh, handlebar a hand guard protector they, they sort of rise up but they cracked I mean they weren't that old they were a few years old but not that old but they're good they do protect you in the winter but I'm not going to be riding this for much longer so that doesn't matter as the old GS will come out soon well it has come out but it will come out for good uh, what else what else what else I'll oh, screen what else we have put a headlamp guard on just because you never know just a clear perspex one I did put some 40 mil bar risers on but I've taken them off for now gone back to standard I think they, they were a bit too high I think I could probably do with something about 20 mil so I, I may actually invest in a pair today uh, would I buy another one certainly quite like the black and yellow one they've got out but this is in perfect condition and it still has another year's warranty on it and I haven't exactly worn it out so I should probably hang on to this for a couple more years the only one complaint the gold wheels look fab but they do require quite a bit of cleaning and the brake dust does seem to stick to it and I, I do spray them with a bit of GT85 and the spokes so that it doesn't stick to them but it, it does and it is a bit of a pain and I don't like using too much uh, cleaner on them because a lot of the cleaner with the detergents does discolour the finishing so uh, yeah that is the only thing you've really got to keep on top of the cleaning of the gold wheels so they look sparkly but you know for, from a commuting point of view I mean if you was having to do sort of 60 70 miles a day what a bike to do it on you know and if you're doing motorway riding what I like about this as I said earlier you've got a lot of presence with this bike uh, oh, sat nav saying go straight ahead so let's go straight ahead uh, you do have a lot of presence with this bike which you need on a bloody motorway these days because the roads are so dodgy I, I always I, I don't mind riding motorways but I always feel really vulnerable on a motorway and with a big bike you still you definitely get seen more and uh, just feel like you've got a bit more protection around you although you haven't but it's uh, it's definitely better to just have that larger bike when you're on a big road with lots of mad car drivers driving 
I have no idea which way we're going to go, but I'm letting the computer, the machine, tell me which way to go. It's come to that, ladies and gentlemen, where we take orders from a machine. It does cost quite a lot to fill it up at the moment, though. I think you're looking at about £50, not from empty, but from nearly empty with super unleaded. I know it will run on E10, but I do prefer super. Super duper. Oh, of course, we forgot to mention the Akrapovic exhaust. Oh, lovely. It's the one where you can take the baffles or DB killers out. Oh, it sounds just bloody great. litter there. I know what, I'll stop at the traffic lights and toss all my crap out onto the side. Dirty bastards. Right, let's get past this horrid thing. I will ride all weather conditions but there's nothing worse than getting out on a wet road after uh, not riding on a wet road for quite some time now probably about three or four months. The tyres, the tyres should be okay now, but well, he's a little bit nervous. A little antsier. It's actually not that cold, thankfully. Just very damp. Well, he's got his fox lights on. Perhaps I should have mine on. got the old fog lights on the old foggies are on the servicing costs on these for the sort of normal service aren't too bad either I don't think the major service is that expensive but yeah the servicing costs are fairly good be interesting to see how much it's gone up since last year I think last year it was just under 200 pounds this bloke I've got someone behind me I mean it's 30 down here and he's sitting on my top box it's always a worry if he decides to do a text and then flatten me well, we're only 10 minutes away it doesn't feel like it but we must be because the machine is telling me that You know, it's quite nice riding the bike on a work day instead of working. Having said that, I don't exactly put the hours in these days, but still nice. Friday morning, out on the bike. I mean, the amazing thing with this is, you know, it's got it had three bars on the uh, fuel indicator when I left home, and normally when the bike's just got a couple of bars left on a normal size tank, you'd uh, you'd fill up, but. It still had a hundred and I think it had about 120 mile range, which if you think about it, my bobber black I had a few years ago, you'd never get 120 miles out of a tank on that. Tiny little thing. So to really sum up this bike after two years is uh yeah, it's a really nice nice bike, well made, haven't had any problems with it. All positives really. I think she likes red. Um, excellent fuel range, tank range. Yes, take note, Mr. Marsh, an excellent tank range. Yes, a bloody good thing, really, altogether. Wouldn't be without one now. I like the 1250 engine as well, it's got nice, a nice power curve. But I say, the great thing with these is they're a good all-rounder. Little A roads, B roads, unclassifieds, motorways, dual carriageways, perfect. You probably wouldn't want to go through the centre of London in it. It wouldn't frighten me, I could. But it is quite bulky for getting through small gaps. 
and you'd probably get hijacked as well but it's it's a great bike so we're going to the BMW dealer could be rather fatal as I have just sold one of the fleet I won't tell you yet but uh, I have got some money burning a hole in my pocket although I don't think it's going to be another BMW but that's famous last words because I'm like a child in a bloody toy shop or a sweet shop as soon as I see something sparkly that's it I'm done for I think it's annoying because I think I actually last time I got this service they gave it a really good wash not that I keep it dirty but of course it's going to have a really nice wash now and then come out on the dirty road so hopefully it might dry out a little bit before uh, before we come away so thanks for watching and I will see you on the next one it's a good thing about the BMW sat nav you just go on there and it tells you the nearest BMW shop which happens to be this one comes up right here right now here we are look it's sort of just there